All right, so let's get it started. Let's the SBA set uh, consists of four elements, and let's uh, four element B, A, B, C, and D. Uh, is easy a b c and d and let's define the star the star is a binary operation uh, define the star by the following table i have not created the table yet so let's create the table and let's put the star on the top and let's create uh, let's use this four element uh, on the side and on the top to uh, create a table with uh, four rows and four columns uh, let's uh, create the first rows by a b c d which is easy and then you start from the second element b c d a and then you start from third element c d a b and let's start with the four element d a b c very nice now let's see what we can do we can remind us we can remind us the definition of a binary operation and that is a binary operation is uh, a function on set s okay and 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 there's a um there's a um uh, there's a uh there's a Cartesian product uh, s cross s uh, which is mapped to only one element s and that element has to be within this set so let's take in only two element from uh from this set which consists of four element and that two two element is x comma y let's say and x comma y is belong to a b c d the set which we call s has four element now z z is like the x and y map to right so z is one element which is belong to a b and c d that's kind of satisfying the the definition that we gave earlier so what that means that means that it studies a binary operation that any two element you pull out from this four element that will map to one element and that one element also would belong to the set so